Hello YouTube and welcome to the Living Off the Grid Challenge. I'm Written Faye and this is the very first episode of this Let's Play. Um, as you can see, Cynthia here, Cynthia Ozenberg is our sim. She's kind of standing in the middle of her open concept house. The only wall in the house, aside from the walls on the outside, are, is the wall that separates the bedroom. And if she has any children, we'll probably build a small either addition over here or wall off this for a bedroom for the kids. We have a bed, a closet, a couple of counters, a grill, a love seat, and a shower and a toilet. That's it. And we have 23 simoleons to our name. So it's going to be an interesting start because she has to earn all, all her money. But she can't have a job. The goal of this challenge, living off the grid, meaning she has no electricity. So eventually, even if we have the simoleons for it, she won't be able to have a computer, a TV, a stove, or a refrigerator. When I can earn enough money, I'm looking to get her a cooler, which will go out here with the grill. Uh, I can't remember if we can store things in the cooler. Like, if she cooks hot dogs, can we store them in the cooler so that they don't spoil within a couple hours? I can't remember. So we'll find out together. And basically, the whole point of this challenge is to have her survive. We need to complete the freelance botanist aspiration, which she has here. We also need to collect all of the gardening collectibles not including the space collectibles and i think they said you don't have to do the granite fall stuff if you don't really want to i'm probably going to try that actually while i continue talking i'm gonna have her fish so we're looking to max out the gardening skill collect all the garden collectibles and complete the freelance botanist aspiration as well, if we complete the freelance botanist aspiration and we still have some more things to do, um, the creator of the challenge suggests that we choose the collector aspiration and try to complete that before she dies as well. This is a one generation, sorry, uh, distracted by the snapdragon. This is a one generation challenge. Uh, it doesn't have to go on past that. But it's just to see how she can survive without electricity. And one of the conditions was that your toilet and your shower have to be in a little outhouse area, which I put here. Um, I got, if you've watched the speed build for the house, I kind of got carried away with building her house. And that's kind of why we don't have a lot of things in it. Because I spent all of her money on building the house. So, we're going to have to, I'm hoping, I saw one collectible, ah, there's another one. I'm looking to go around, she's got a lot of plants that are spawning around, so that'll be great later on, when they're harvestable. But I'm hoping to at least get enough with collectibles now to earn her a cooler so that when we cook food we can store it. We're right by this little park so I'm kind of hoping that people will come here and grill and we can just kind of wander over and eat some food without having to cook it for a while. Because then that also means that we're not spending money. Oh, she caught a minnow worth five simoleons. Uh, if somebody else cooks, it means that we won't spend money on our cooking. Because I'd like to be able to get her a painting easel, maybe a woodworking table so that she can make things for herself. I've got somebody knocking on our door and we're not home. We're here fishing, actually. I'm going to have her stop fishing and start collecting all those collectibles. I could sell the minnow for five simoleons, or I think I can use it as bait later. 
Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. Then we're selling it. I don't have enough simoleons to pick and choose what we keep. There were two more over here. So we'll see what this gets us. Looks like there's a pretty decent amount of plants. Um, snapdragons, roses. I saw some strawberries. I think I saw an onion plant somewhere too. So that'll be nice. What are you? Rose bush. That's a snapdragon, right? Yeah. Okay. Because the park has a lot of... There's some mushrooms here. So I'm trying to figure out if I want... What are you? Onion plant. That's what I thought. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I want to buy some gardening beds and have her plant stuff in the gardening beds or if I want her to maybe just plant stuff in her garden. Aha, this is what I was hoping. See, somebody's already, two people are cooking. She's cooked some baked potatoes and she looks like she's doing grilled fruit, I think. Which means we can eat without having to cook. Look at her. She's all confident and happy. I gave her, um, if you missed the Sims, creative Sims I did, she's a creative Sim because we're going to have to earn all our simoleons from creating things at home and the plants that we were able to do. She loves the outdoors, and I did that partially because with spending a lot of time out gardening, I wanted her to be happy being out in gardening. And then I also gave her the klep klept kleptomaniac trait. Uh, it's the trait that was added for The Sims' 16th birthday, and I haven't played with it. I didn't really play with it before. So we're going to play with it now. It means basically after hours, I think it's after 10 p.m. or after midnight, I can't remember, she can go to other lots and steal things. And so this will be pretty entertaining to see. Wow, we've got like a lot of food to choose from. Grilled fruit, excellent. Franks and beans, excellent. Hot dogs, good. We're going to grab a serving of this. I wish I could put this food in our little backpack. Because the other thing I forgot that we need um, before the welcome wagon came and left. And she's out doing things. The other thing I need before I get too far with her money, too, is she kind of needs a trash bin. Because we don't have one. I guess we're not wanted here. Well, unfortunately, we're not home, so... It's hard to meet the welcome wagon when you're not home to meet the welcome wagon. Because we, we, we need things like this Furium, 140 simoleons. I should be able to afford a trash can now. And I need an outdoor trash can because... I need it to be taken away away, not just and a surfer leaf frog. We're gonna breed the two together. And end up with a second surfer leaf frog. We're gonna fast forward her running here. Where are you going? Apparently she is going to harvest snapdragons instead of eat. Get back here. Clever Tabor. Luna to you. 
Come, he come here and meet Yusan Scott and Claire Ber Bergens. I told you to eat before you did that. Silly Sim. Because if the Snapdragons are harvestable now, I'll probably, after I take care of some of her needs, send her out and harvest everything. But I want her to get a little bit of something to eat. Collect a new frog. We'll fit that. Buy a hot tub. I don't think hot tubs count for being able to... Are you going to take your food? Thank you. Here we found Jenny. Oh, keep that. Fossilized Simhan. 45 simoleons. Wait, where's your food? I know you're not hungry, hungry, but come on. A pre 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 sim head. Poppy. Why are you not eating? Inspiration comes to creative sims often, but if creative activities are ignored, their emotes will suffer. 225 simoleons. Okay. Apparently she's just not hungry. So I'm going to have her come here and use this. And then I guess since she's not hungry, we won't have her eat right now. We already harvested that one. Not harvestable yet. You're harvestable. Not harvestable. At least see if we can get some stuff around this, the park. The wild mushrooms aren't. I think it's just the snapdragons it looks like. So at least we'll have a couple snapdragons. And actually, now that we have 518 simoleons, let's see if we can afford that. Oh, well there's a trash bin there, but I'd like to have one on our property. Just so we can throw stuff out, because if I remember right, I can't drag garbage off our lot onto there. Use this with 119 simoleons. Took 400 simoleons just to buy a trash can. You know, I remember the days where we used to get trash cans with our lots, even if the lot was empty. Like, you got a mailbox and a trash can. Now it's just a trash can. No, I don't want you to go there. I want you to plant. Thank you. Let me give her a friendly introduction. Get at least some gardening back done. Because I think... She needs... Why, hello there. Random man standing on our sidewalk. Plant something three times. Weed or water plants ten times. So this will help with getting her aspiration started. One done. One to complete. And I may have her open the Sullivan Glade later. 
because I think there's some plants in there. But her social is starting to drop, so we might as well have her. What do you want to do? Buy a pool. <laughs> they look, look like they're getting along pretty well. We're going to come over here and water these. Three and four. This will give us some nice flowers in front, in front of our house. Don't be upset just because there's water on the ground. There's water on the ground. Okay. I think the Sylvan Glade is somewhere over here, so, whoops. Ah. What did I do? What did I do? No, we're not taking anybody. I'm gonna travel here. And pause real quick. Okay, yeah, it's over here. So we're gonna have you come over and view this beautiful tree up through here. Yeah, now you're hungry. I tried to make you eat ages ago. Tried to make you eat ages ago. Now you're hungry. And I'm not going to be to blame for that. It is not my fault that you, miss, are hungry. And they do have, I think they've got a community garden over here somewhere that I'll have her visit after we're done. That's right, water that tree. Take care of it. Love the tree. And I've got to be careful of the time. Her bedtime is 9 p.m. Um, since there's a way to keep score of everything, so I'm probably just going to make notes. I'll probably just leave some notes um, for myself to let me know approximately how many points I've lost based on what I'm doing. But, sorry, I couldn't help myself. There was a frog over there. <laughs> And she wanted to collect a frog. It was an aspiration. Now she wants to plant something. So we'll pin that too. New frog is 10. Old frog is 10. Tiger frog is 35. 10 flower frog! Chat about roots. Oh, there you are. Yeah, come here. That's right, compliment the roots, compliment the leaves, let it know it is awesome. Now, we can explore. Into the tree! And I've never done this before, so this will be a fun experiment. <laughs> I think somebody said follow the light, maybe? Cynthia follows the light all too soon, realizing that it's coming from the very place where she entered. Oh, well. Oh, now she's embarrassed. Poor girl. Well, explore it again.
This trunk is a lot better than, bigger than anticipated. It's dark, but somehow not scary. A flank glow is the only light, and a rolling burble is the only sound. We'll follow the sound, since we now know that following the light is the wrong choice. Cynthia delves a bit deeper and a bit darker. A soft splash tells her that she has just stepped into a shallow stream. Let's follow it downstream. Oh, look. A lightning bug. But we can't catch it because it's not Granite Falls. Taking the path of least resistance and hoping that it doesn't terminate at a sewer main, Cynthia is distracted by an ethereal mist glowing ominously. Let's enter the mist. We have no idea if this is right or wrong. We will hope that it is right. Is it right? <gasps> Travel to the glade. The mist is warm and friendly as far as the mists go. Without warning, Cynthia feels the sensation of being spun around. An exit to the cave is now staring her in the face. Would you like to travel to the Sylvan Glade? Yes, we would. If I remember right from what people said... We don't have to do this every time we want to go to the Glade. It should be available on our map next time we go to the map. But we're going to take a quick look around because I'm going to pause it real quick. We can fish there or look for frogs. I've never actually been to the Glade. So I don't know if we even will have enough time to really wait for stuff to spawn or if we'll just have to come back later because it doesn't look like there's anything spawned. But I know it takes time because when we first moved in, there was nothing, and then there was a bunch of things. So I'm guessing we'll have to come back because it's 8.30, which means we only have a half an hour to get her to bed. Nope, don't play with your phone. Nope, nope, you're not allowed on your phone. So yeah, much as I want to explore, we need to get her back to her home and into bed. I'm not going to travel with anybody because we're going to bed. going to sleep. Where are you going? Wait. She can't be here. What are you doing? Why are you getting into bed? It's time to go to bed. You're keeping us from our bedtime. Goodbye. Goodbye. I should really get going. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. I'm not going to count that as not going to bed at 9 because she was going to bed. And then this woman followed her into the house. And we had to get rid of her. So I'll count that as 9 because it's only a couple of minutes away. Um, is all this food spoiled? It will be by the time that we get up. So I'm going to end it here. We made enough simoleons to earn us a garbage can. I don't think we have enough to buy a cooler. <coughs> oh, we do. Perfect. And since her grill is red, I will make her cooler red. So now we have a cooler. But I don't think we can put anything in it. We'll find out later. Uh, the catch with all of the grilled meals is that they're meant for, like, a party size. And she's a one person. And by the time she's hungry again, it's spoiled. So it's kind of a waste of money. But we don't really have a choice since we're not allowed a stove. So I will end it here. Hopefully next time, well, 
after buying some necessities, we're 40 simoleons more than when we started. And we have four snapdragons growing in our front yard. I'm thinking of putting roses here. So we've got snapdragons and roses. And then I will probably see if I can buy some planters next episode. Or I may... I may see about buying her an easel so that we can get her painting some <coughs> and then buy some planters because, well, I would love to fulfill the botanist aspiration very quickly or as quickly as I can. I need some way to bring in a little more money. And while some of the plant stuff does, painting will too. So I will see you all in game next time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when the next episode goes live. And make sure to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. Bye!